Hello, Speed Gaming. Welcome to another exciting multi-category tournament match between Fuzda, Andrew. Fuzda, a.k.a. Andrew. And uh, Junie June. We are going to be racing any percent. Oops, wait. We are not quite ready. Soon we will be uh, racing any percent. Uh, we've got the vetoes in. Junie June vetoed uh, Triple Bingo. And uh, Andrew vetoed Low Percent Ice, decided to uh, do an Any Percent race. Uh, let's see if we can fix the... Timer here. There we go. And all right. All right. Uh, looks like both of our racers are ready. And we should be getting started very shortly here. I hope you're all excited for this matchup. Uh, this is a matchup between two, three, and two runners. We've got uh, they a ticket to the playoff race on the line here. The winner of this one will be at four and two. Will go into the uh, the the playoff race. Uh, where all of the four and two runners to decide who makes the top sixteen playoff. Fuzda, sorry, I'll keep calling him Fuzda likely for the entire match, but uh, uh, Andrew, uh, likely the favorite here, the the higher seed, uh, has a any percent time in the the lower 40s. Uh, actually, I have it right up here. I can tell you what it is. 44.23, excellent any percent time. Uh, uh, Juni June, uh, a little bit of a newer runner. Uh, is at uh, 5314. So Fuzda with a distinct advantage, but if I know Fuzda, he is going to push to get a good time regardless of his opponent. Uh, is going to be going to be trying to take some risks I, ex I expect. Ah, okay, we do have the stream fixed. Excellent. Both of our runners coming into the first Ridley fight. This one, the easier of the two Ridley fights. But, uh, just got to take five hits here and then run away. Run far, far away. Yeah, Junie, Junie June, I think I would call him the combinatorial runner. Junie June has a time in every single possible permutation of bosses. Uh, that's 24 different routes if you're counting, uh, which is something I don't think many people have have done. But that definitely uh, gives a is an interesting accomplishment to to have all 24 routes routed and done, uh, and something sounds like a lot of fun to me. Uh, thank you, Frey Guy, for for iterating those out for me. Both of our runners heading out of series station, very close. Uh, Andrew, maybe just a little bit, a little bit ahead here, but quite early in the run. And uh, I expect, uh, given their PB times, that Andrew will likely be running Fantoon first, and Junie will be running Craig first. We'll see some route divergence, uh, which is always exciting. And. Uh, Likely, technically, the, the routes don't come back together until Mother Brain 3, so we'll see. Uh, we'll have to uh, make our best guess as to who's ahead 
Uh, Juni also has a dog emote, which uh, I immediately... Uh, I am rooting for Juni June uh, 100% at this point, thanks to the dog emote. Uh, we see Jun Jun using Moonfall, Andrew using appropriate fall speeds. That's going to put Jun Jun in the lead here, going through pit room. There's a chair emote, too? That is fantastic. I love when people come up with good ideas for emotes. I'm a fan. I saw, I saw Andrew practicing some one-hit KO ROM hack before this. I hope he didn't accidentally load that up, or else he's going to have a much harder time uh, in his run. Uh, no, it is not, actually. I understand sarcasm. I would like to thank the runners for not running triple bingo when I have to both uh, crop streams, track, and commentate. I think I would just be going nonsense jargon the entire time, hoping that something was accurate. Any percent, I at least know where they're going to be going. And right now they're heading up climb into BT. Uh, my guess would be Pit Room, which movement can lose you a couple seconds. Uh, and also the uh, Construction Zone. And uh, it's, it's interesting because it, it doesn't take much to lose a few seconds here and there in every room. Yeah, I would, I would presume, and there's very, very few people who will bother trying to run New Route prior to getting at least a, a high 40 time, even a, a mid to high, like a 47, 48. There's, there's a few people that start with New Route, but it's much, much more difficult. Uh, and you can make a lot more progress by doing Old Route until you're at, even in the mid 40s. Or, I mean, technically you can get a... I think at 43, something is the, the best old route time at this point. Uh, Andrew making quick work of BT. Using uh, five power shots, uncharged power beam shots, and then some missiles to finish it off. Juni June right behind. Uh, that's actually by far not the hardest part of the run, Lummy and Jones. Uh, that's, uh, and, and honestly, uh, the, the bosses themselves, you could get by and learn. Oh, Andrew, missing that drop, unfortunately, uh, it's going to need some extra missile drops here. He gets one from the, the first pirate needs, okay. And he got it. So he's good. Yeah, there are, I know Sloters occasionally will do whatever route his opponent is doing. So if his opponent does new route, he'll do new route. If his opponent does old route, he'll do old route. I have yet to see somebody uh, push that and do RBO against him when it's any percent and see if he'll run RBO. But someday somebody will do that. <laughs> there are worse rooms in the game. Uh, I would guess with new route players that switch to it, probably lose more time in the movement through Lower Norfair than any of the bosses. Both of our runners getting that early mock ball to pick up these supers, allowing them to skip Spore Spawn and head straight down to Kraid. We all know Double Chamber is the actual worst room in the game.
Foose's health looking good, and you saw him uh, missile those pirates. That generally implies that he is indeed doing new route, conserving his health uh, so that he can go into Fantoon with as much as possible. Uh, going to pick up these missiles and charge beam, and then likely head up Red Tower. Uh, I will take a two round slow, slow Fantoon anytime. Oh, Junior June also looks like going to pick up uh, some extra supers here. This will give him some extra leeway on a few of the boss fights and things like uh, Dragon, Ridley. Yeah, well, Mother Brain. Oh, Colosseum's, Colosseum and RBO is is very punishing. And Andrew is heading down. He is not uh, doing new route. It looks like he is going to do old route. Uh, possibly taking the safer of the two options, knowing he has a movement advantage and experience advantage, and instead going to do a safer old route, uh, pick up Varya and some energy tanks before heading to wreck ship, get that plasma beam before heading to Ridley. All around, a much less volatile route. And uh, I don't blame him for this. Uh, I expect he's doing it solely because I picked against him in our picks this week. Uh, and he has just a, a desire to prove me wrong. I'm joking, of course. I think I think uh, choosing a route that maximizes your chances of making it into the playoffs makes perfect sense, and this that's what he does. He needs to get to four and two in order to make the playoff run. He needs to do well in the playoff run to get into the playoffs. So, or the, the play in to get to the playoffs, whatever that would be. Uh, oh, nice D boost by Juni Jun. I like that. That's one I've never been able to, to get consistently. Uh, Junior Jun also going to pick up Spacer. This is a common item that's still picked up in kind of uh, the the low 50s times that people have. Uh, it can make... There, there are times where it makes uh, Fantoon easier. If you want to use charged wave Spacer shots, you can do a pretty consistent four round uh, without any, any real risk. Uh, it also just will make it easier to hit a lot of stuff since it's a wider beam. <laughs> Thanks, Dizzle, Dizzle Sim, Dizzleism, Dizzleism. Uh, yeah, he needs to win this match to get into the play-in. He needs to do well to in the play-in to get into the playoffs. He needs to do well in the playoffs to win the tournament. And we got a high five here, morph ball high five going through. Uh, Andrew is indeed going to pick up this E tank, so likely going for at least a four tank uh, old route run. Adrian setting up for his great quick kill here. Going to look to get two missiles in. Well, one missile to open his mouth, one missile in, and then three supers to finish him off. Oh, a little bit late on that first super. Craig's mouth was a little bit too far open. Uh, didn't get the frame that keeps the mouth open, so couldn't finish it off. And Craig being being a giant jerk. Uh, the non-quick Craig fight can actually be very annoying for us speedrunners because we don't generally practice fighting Craig the normal way. Uh, we just assume we get the quick kill and then we move on. Uh, and then when he stands up, it's, I don't know what this fight is? He's throwing nails around. He's he's shooting stuff out of his belly. I don't know what it is. Like, who practices that? <laughs> uh, 
I'm not saying it's not my fault. I'm just saying it's like one of those things where we all look super awkward whenever we have to actually fight Grade. Uh, that's not a soft lock, though. Uh, the the Kraid nails will drop missiles. Unless he didn't... Well, no, he would have to have some missiles. Uh, meanwhile, Fuzda is showing excellent movement and execution going up through speed. Nice. Uh, is that Dragon Punch or Uppercut Strat? I call it Dragon Punch. Oh, I guess, yeah, if he didn't stand up yet, he doesn't throw his his, uh, his nails around. That's a bummer. We'll see. Maybe Fuzda's running uh, Kraid, Ridley, Dragon, Fantoon. He might head down to Lower Norfair here. Oh, see? This is the worst room in the game. I'm telling you. Double Chamber. I hate it. Uh, it, it's going to be hard. Hey, listen, Juni knew it was going to be hard to win this match going in, but it is Super Metroid, and Super Metroid is a hard game, and anything can happen. We've we've seen things in this in this tournament like uh, people forgetting to put in the GT code when they go into, or not forgetting. Okay, he didn't forget. People uh, botching the GT code when he went in. Shoutouts to Kip. Uh, and then we've seen people die on the way to Kraid in GT Classic. Uh, a lot can happen. Uh, looks like Junie picked up ice early uh, and then turned it off in order to not have to freeze enemies as as they go. Uh, I'm curious what the what the uh, strategy for having ice. I guess probably. Uh, Red Tower, maybe, is where he wants ice? I'm not sure. A huge Lime Toss. Man, Lime Tosses sound delicious right now. Sounds like a good summer drink. I was, uh, I was expecting Juni to keep ice on for Bubble Mountain. Uh, since it makes it makes this a little bit more more friendly, but looks like they're just going to do the wall jumps, making sure King Cac doesn't uh, doesn't knock them off uh, from his perch. Uh, meanwhile, Andrew heading up Red Tower on his way to wreck ship, bonking his head on every single ledge. Oh, is he going to do the? Oh, oh, I'm so disappointed that. Uh, he didn't quite get that. That's a the the down grab strat is uh, always very pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's sort of interesting if if Juni isn't going to use ice for all of Upper Norfair, it probably would be faster for him to pick it up on the way out when he has speed. Um, so I just got ice so he wouldn't forget it <laughs> maybe I mean that's that's a viable reason
I will be the last person to criticize anybody's routing choices, uh, but I am curious because generally when people do something deliberately like that, they they have a they have a very specific reason, and so I'm I'm hoping we we see that reason because uh, I think it's it's you can learn a lot by watching people, even people who have slower times than you, uh, and the choices they make. Fantoon guesses. Uh, I think he will be there. The real question is, will we see the one round... What would it be? Uh, 15 missile Doppler. Oh, he's using X-Factor strats. Guess not. Uh, nobody does a one-round Doppler in actual attempts. Uh, uh, but it is task possible to do a one-round Doppler. Right, looks like Junie also going to pick up Croc E tank. We'll see uh, if he also decides to pick up Grapple. Oh, I thought I thought he got the spike suit there for a minute. Andrew taking a hit from those atomics. They do a ton of damage. Uh, but that, that one there in particular is, is quite hard to avoid with any small movement mistake. And we've seen left side attic. Oh, nice. Uh, left side attic uses a lot less ammo. Oh, unfortunately, got hit by the spark and uh, couldn't save the ammo. Uh, normally, you would use blue echoes to kill a lot of those enemies if you're doing the left side, or you start on the left side. Um, and then use blue echoes to kill a lot of the enemies, which conserves a lot of your ammo for uh, Meridia. Actual, uh, yeah, Croc, Croc PBs is first PBs, all right. Uh, but for picking up Grapple, uh, I think getting these power bombs actually probably faster than getting the Alpha power bombs. So as long as if you're coming down here to get Grapple, may as well pick up those power bombs. Grapple and Ice for Suitless Meridia, we could could be. We might be seeing a Kray, Dragon, Ridley, Fantoon route. Did did Juni like uh randomize the route that they're doing and uh is committed to to doing it? Taking a save here. I'm not sure why. I'm not I'm not sure doing Craig Ridley is a gamble. I think this is this is just uh certainly going to be a fun route to watch. It it now see now it makes perfect sense why Juni picked up ice 
picked up the extra supers and went down to fight uh, Krokmeyer. It's brilliant routing, because here's what happens is Fuzda, as focused as he is, is going to look over on the stream that he has running in the background, see Junie already at Ridley, and say, wait, what? How did, how did I fall so far behind? And then he starts taking risks. And then he slips up. And that's, that's where Junie makes his move. Well, I'm excited because I want to see what a Kraid... Uh, not getting screw attack, though. I thought I thought maybe uh, maybe Junie would pick up screw attack, but apparently not. Well, he needed. A... I, I'm ignoring... Wait, you know what? How do we know who's in the lead? This is an entirely separate thing. I was going to say I need to turn on Junie's audio, but it, it is. And I think since Junie is in Lore Norfair and Fuzda is only in Meridia, clearly Junie is in the lead. So I'm going to keep audio there. Andrew picking up his fourth E-Tank. The last one likely that he picks up unless he needs the Ridley E-Tank after the Ridley fight. Another safety save for Juni before going into a, a very hard Ridley fight. Uh, I know people see a lot of, uh, you know, oh, four tanks for Ridley, that's easy. Uh, but with Spacer, Charge, Ice, and Wave, it's... 60 shots, which is quite a bit. Juni does have 10 supers, which will cut down a third of those shots, but uh, it's by no means an easy fight, and you take a lot of damage when you only have Varya and don't have gravity. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the first time this route has ever been run in the tournament. So definitely going to be a uh, first place overall route time for Junie Jr. Oh, misses the spark, unfortunately. Seems to run out of ammo. Oh, okay. I was nervous there. I'm sure he knew what he was doing. But uh, one of the things that could be his downfall uh, was chain damage on Dragon. And so glad to see he avoided that chain damage. It's going to pick up his space jump and head down to try to catch up to Juni June, who is already in Lore Norfair. Juni June going to be our first runner to take on Ridley. Well, other than Sirius Station Ridley, which, as we pointed out, is a lot easier. I 
Andrew running away from the fake Metroid's gonna head and pick up Plasma, the most powerful beam upgrade. Gonna cause his Ridley and Mother Brain fights to be 20 shots instead of 60. Well, Toasty, Junie is doing Craid Ridley for sure. We don't yet know which boss will be third. Uh, missing that wall jump on or that getting onto that ledge is a terrible feeling uh, on the way to plasma. Just having to fall down and wait. Who's just got to watch out for his health here? <laughs> He's only got 60. Stuff does do damage to you, even if you have both suits. He's got, got Ridley red. It's over halfway dead. That's what I said. Yeah, there'd be no reason to skip Plasma in an old route run. Uh, it speeds up Mother Brain and Lower Norfair pretty significantly. Uh, definitely saves time picking it up. And nice Ridley fight by Juni. Uh, clearing that out. Making it look easy. That is not an easy fight without gravity suit, without plasma. Well, I need a word that rhymes with plasma then. <laughs> plasma miasma. I've got asthma, I can't remember. Oh, we got some PBs of... <clears throat> These are not shame PBs when you're using them to do drag on after Ridley before going to wreck ship. The, the PBs of route preference. Keep those rhymes coming. I'm writing them down for next time. Yeah, Juni clearly doing the more the more interesting route. Also going to pick up these power power bombs, uh, presumably to Crystal Flash into Batloon. Wait, no, they have Ice Beam. Why would they Crystal Flash? For uh, to get out of Dragon, I guess. Oh, nice blue suit echoes to get through the pillar room. 
saving his power bombs. Uh, making worse room in the game look like average room in the game. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's not RBO, it's just BO. It's like ABO, ab arbitrary boss order. Looks like he's gonna slowly kill these key hunters there to avoid taking those hits. Uh, Andrew not taking any saves because that's not what Andrew does. That's true, ABO does mean alphabetical boss order, so we need a different word. Junie June boss order? All right, that'll work. Oh, nice ball boost by Junie. Andrew going to his foos to fight. I saw him practicing this in one hit KO something or other. I think this will probably be a lot easier. Ball boost. Ball buster is something else entirely that we won't see here. A little surprised Juni didn't fill up on power bombs before coming up here. Uh, Dead Pelican on Andrew's side. He has all four bosses down. He is going to beeline to Turian and take out those Metroids. Not even going to stop for the Ridley E tank. Doesn't need it. Very nice uh, Suitless Meridia entry and climb so far by Juni. Freezing these crabs, using them to step up and get through. Killing that one for no reason. I guess maybe looking for a power bomb drop. They do need one more power bomb to be able to crystal flash. I'm a little surprised they didn't refill in the speed hallway before coming up. Uh, there are some Puyos coming up. Oh, it looks like we're heading down. Gonna get some more supers. Hey, there's a power bomb drop. I guess I guess that's oh no. I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Extra supers. Gonna be good for Dragon. Bzap. Oh, nice jumping, Andrew. You're an excellent jumper. Oh, look out. oh using plasma to hitbox those uh, key hunters. Uh, you won't take any damage while they're taking damage from plasma. So he knows he can use plasma and just run right through. And double, oh, he had the ball boost. He got greedy and tried to unmorph and open the door. I think what the judges didn't tell you is that the winner of this match is also is actually going to be determined by vote uh, of just who we thought had a cooler run. And right now, Juni June well ahead of Andrew, who is uh, running a, a very, very well executed old route. Creativity, definitely going to Juni June at this point.
Junior going to use uh, some nice grapple jumps here. Uh, use the grapple beam to get traveling up. Morph while you're still, your momentum is still carrying you up. And then if you unmorph while you're still going up, you can jump. The game thinks you're on solid ground. And then you can remorph and keep doing that all the way up. Now, I don't think we're going to see another high five. Unless Junie does. Rid, uh, Kraid, Ridley, Dragon, Mother Brain, and then Fantoon. Um, but that would require going to get X-Ray, and I don't think I don't think that's really very efficient routing at this point. Uh, I think you can X-ray climb inbounds and get into Turian. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure you can X-ray climb inbounds because uh, R M R B O R R M R B O R M R Rambo R A R M R B O yeah whatever it is. Um, the only Mate, like it doesn't use any out of well no it does go out of bounds i don't know is it all right see i don't know i don't like out of bounds but i trust 100 percent what tex is saying because he knows a lot more about this game than i do Uh, yeah, RBMBO does escape, escape, but it does uh, it does actually a lot of stuff that are major, fairly major glitches. Uh, yeah, Judy's having a fantastic race for this route, which is a very interesting route to watch, uh, and I applaud the entertainment value of doing a very clean uh, a very clean suitless Meridia a very clean hard lower Norfair Uh, Andrew coming up on Baby Skip. This could make or break his lead. I think if he misses Baby Skip, Junie still has a chance to catch up. Let's let's see if he can pull it off. Let me through. Come on, Zebit. There you go. Good job, Zebitite. Uh, 
I, uh, I didn't see, but did Andrew take a save before Mother Brain? Oh, nice crystal flash into Dragon Grasp for Juni. Oh, he did save. Okay. And Andrew taking that rain moving damage. No stand up in any percent. We don't have enough E tanks. Well, Juni might. But I don't know if Juni will have plasma or not. Very nice escape. Juni has the blue suit. Going to use that to spark out of the precious room. I probably at this point should switch to Fusta for the last part since he is definitely the lead at this point. Nice Mother Brain 3 from Andrew. Uh, he's gonna run out of Turia and head to the ship and uh, will be done and on his way to the play in match. Can't be Mother Brain 3 is where they sync up. So that's that's why I switched when I knew for sure that he was ahead. I wasn't sure up until Mother Brain 3, but uh, now I am. Juni is going to pick up Plasma. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. You got to kind of come this way anyway for Sulis. You don't have to, but you may as well get Plasma from Mother Brain. Make that fight easier. going to finish up with an official SRL time of 47.05. Chi-Chi Fusta, nicely done. Very, very clean run. Not the most fun route that you could have done in Juni June showing, you know, a much more interesting route. But uh, I guess yours was faster if that's what you're going for.
Forgotten Highway in any percent? What is this? It's brilliant, that's what it is. Hey, does anybody know what the name of this room is that Junie's in right now? Because, I mean, we all know Forgotten Highway. But I have no idea what the name of that room is. This is East Ocean, I believe. Forgotten Kagos? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you know, you know they made it 100 items to make that percentage way easier to program, right? Like, I can 100% see why they did that. They they put in all the items they actually wanted, and then they, ha they had, like, 87. And they were like, man, this is going to be annoying to calculate what percentage of items have. It'd be nice if we could just have a counter, and they had 100 items. So then they went and put, like, another missile in Billy Mays, and they put, like... A missile at Mama Turtle and a missile in speed, right before speed, and they're like, Yeah, there, okay, now we got a hundred, and now we can just show the number of items that we have. Hundred per hundred percent, that's hundred percent. That's ironic to use that. That's definitely how they how they did it. Also, Deer Force. It's actually a, a brilliant solution to a a much harder problem is like, hey, we don't have to do any math this way. Why worry about how to program a bunch of math when we can just count items? Uh, Fantoon down for Junie. Gonna head to Turian and take on Mother Brain himself. Doesn't need gravity suit. Already went through Meridia.
Yeah, as as already put out in chat, Rainbow Beam only checks for for Varia, which is actually why, uh, for instance, low percent picks it up. That's why any percent new route picks it up. Uh, it would either be you either have to pick up Varia or three more E tanks. Yeah, I mean, really, this randomizer was just completely determined by Fuzda getting lucky that Gravity was at Wreck ship. And if uh, if it hadn't been, Juni taking that gamble and just going with Suitless Meridia probably would have paid off and allowed him to, to win this one. That was a joke. It's not a randomizer. All the ammo that Juno Juni would ever want, he's got now. All those extra supers and missiles. No need to worry about drops. Very nice baby skip by Juni. I like uh, I like seeing double baby skips in in runs. Always satisfying. As an adult with no children, I approve of the baby skip. Hey, while we wait for Mother Brain to fire off some onion being rings, ketchup beams, and tater tots, make sure you do go and follow these runners. Uh, clearly both very entertaining runners. Uh, Andrew, uh, fantastic execution. Um, does a lot of different, different routes and different challenges. Uh, definitely recommend catching his streams. Uh, and Juni June has now shown you one of the 24 possible routes that he can run. So, you know, keep watching and, you know, pretty soon you'll see a Dragon, Fantoon, Ridley, Craig route, I'm sure. All right, and damaging down to just over 300 to make sure that he doesn't have to wait for extra damage after the Rainbow Beam.
And while we wait for this cutscene to play, why don't we talk about some of the other matches we have going on today? Let me just bring up that excellent schedule we have. All right, we are actually in the middle. I guess I don't, they, they may be done, but it would be a pretty quick match if they were. Uh, there's a Krokemeyer versus Jargle Bargle, Jargle Bargle, Bargle, Jargle Bargle Triple Bingo. Try saying that three times fast. Going on on Speed Gaming 2 right now. At 5.30 Eastern, we have Matrick versus White Mage Becky. At 6 o'clock Eastern, we have Toasty versus Timo Chun. Notes on that one say Pog. At uh, 7 o'clock Eastern, we have another triple bingo match, Mass Hysteria versus Magoo. At 8 o'clock, God, we have a lot of matches today. At 8 p.m. Eastern, we have Mr. Guy Average versus P Toil. At 9 o'clock, we have Nin Toaster versus Cash Mog. Uh, by the way, Mr. Guy Average versus P Toil is Speed Gaming 4. Mass Hysteria versus Magoo is Speed Gaming 5. Toasty versus Timo Chun is on this channel, Speed Gaming. Matrick versus White Mage Becky is on Speed Gaming 4. Holy cats, that's all that we have for today. Nice job, Juni on Mother Brain 3. Excellent jumping and shooting at that giant head. Uh, we also have five matches tomorrow and eight matches on Saturday scheduled and four matches on Sunday. So if you need some Super Metroid in your life for the next four days, we have you taken care of. Uh, and some excellent matchups too, some big playoff implications in a lot of these matchups. Uh, we've got uh, Azure versus Mr. J Giggles on Saturday. It's a, it's a big one to watch. They are running low percent ice, by the way, which is a very difficult category. Uh, Sloters versus Fruit Bat Salad Sunday at five. Oh, buddy. Uh, Shiny Zenny versus Zost. Yeah, you may have heard of those two. Uh, midnight Friday, so stay in, watch some Super Metroid. Some of the the top runners in the in the community, checking it out. Nice spark up the right side by Juni. Now the question: Will Juni save the animals? He ran a route that some may consider Mimi. Saving the animals, also Mimi. Killing the animals, by far the right decision. Good job, Junie. I knew I, I was rooting for you for with good cause. And GG, Junie June has finished with an official SRL time of 1 hour and 42 seconds. Nicely done, GG. Uh, I have no idea if that's a route PB. Uh, Junie June in chat can comment. <laughs> probably has to uh, log into his database and uh, search through to make sure all of the different routes that he runs all right well uh, thank you all for joining this has been a ton of fun I really enjoyed commentating I really enjoyed hanging out with you this afternoon I hope everybody uh, catches more of the Super Metroid event going on over the next few days we have the play-in race coming up next week, and then the playoffs starting after that. It's just beginning to heat up. Uh, make sure you follow all of these runners. Make sure you check out Speed Gaming and check out the schedule for any of the upcoming matches. Uh, GG to both Juni and Andrew. Uh, fantastic luck, Andrew, in the, the play-in race. Juni June, unfortunately, tournament uh, ends on a high note of a possible route PB. Ah, yes. A three-minute route PB by Juni June. Congratulations, GG. Uh, fantastic to see. I really enjoyed that route. And you answered all my questions after I asked many questions about what you were picking up. Uh, all made sense at the end. Well done. All right. And that's going to end it for me. So thank you all. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to always strive to be the human being that your dog thinks you are. I appreciate it. Have a good day.